right. So for this one, it's company has liabilities of 573 due at the end of year two. Right, two years, and then 701 due at the end of year five. Now, it says that the portfolio comprises two zero coupon bonds, bond A and bond B, and determine which portfolio produces a Reddington immunization. Okay, so the first and foremost is that we want to go over the rules of Reddington immunization, right? Which means that the present value of assets always equal present value of liabilities. Secondly, is that the duration of assets always equal the duration of liabilities. And the uh, third of which is that the convexity of assets are always greater than the convexity of liabilities, right? So I see here that uh, we want to see if the present value of this case will equal to any of these in this case. So let's first uh, solve for the present value for the liability. So that would be denoted as 573 discounted two years plus 701 discounted five years at 7%. If I take my calculator, I'm gonna do 573 times 1.07 to the negative two, right? plus 701 times 1.07 to the negative one. So it's going to be, so the present value is going to be a thousand. This one. So now let's find the ones that um, have a present value equal to a thousand. So they already give us the current prices and current prices are another way of seeing prices occurring at time equal zero, which is a present value concept as well. So we're just going to add these two. We're going to 500 plus 500. That's a thousand. So this one's kept 572 plus 428. So that's also a thousand. So this one's going to be kept. Uh, this one, one, this one has a far off number, so we obviously know C is out. This one, uh, and this one is out too. Uh, one thousand, so this one's kept. So we have this one handled. Now the duration. So let's solve for the duration of the liability. We're gonna do five seventy three times the time value at two d squared plus 701 times the time value of 5 b 5. So let's solve uh, over the present value, which we already solved, 1,000. So let's solve, so it would be 573 times 2 times 1.07 to the negative 2. So it's going to be 1,000 for this part. And then for this one, it's 701 times 5 times um, 1.07 to the negative 5. So it's going to be 2,499.0165 plus 1,000.96. So um, so it's going to be uh, 349. I'm just going to do it one more time just to make sure. 701 times 5 times 1.07 to the negative 5. So going to be 2004 plus 1,000 on 96 divided by 1,000. Yeah, so this is going to become 3.49, which is basically practically 3.5. So let's see if any of these have it. So again, these are already discounted at the current price. So we're just going to do 500, one squared, which is one, uh, plus uh, 500 times six squared, right? Six squared and then over the present value of a thousand. So let's, let's compute this. So I could do 500 times 36, plus 500 uh, divided by a thousand. 
it's gonna be uh, 24 500 one, five punches. So it'd be uh, 500 times one. Oh, wait, no, this is a uh, jury sorry. 500, so it'd be 500 plus 3,000 divided by 1,000. So it's going to be 0.5. So A is kept. This one, it's uh, uh, 428 times uh, 6 plus 572 divided by 1,000. That's 3.14, so that one's out. Remember, no discounting, because these are just already at their current prices. Now, for this one, it'd be 1,000 times 3.5 divided by 1,000. 3.5, so E is kept, so we got this one out good. Now, let's find convexity. So, again, convexity represents the cash flow, and then we square the time value, which is 4. Is count to pack b squared plus uh, 701. Is count uh, square the convexity here. Is count to be 5 and then over our present value. So now let's solve for this. So this is going to be 573 times 4 times uh, 1.07 to the negative 2. Right, which is 2001.92. And then this one is uh, 701 times 25 times 1.07. Right, and plus uh, 201.92 is 14,497 divided by a thousand. So it's going to be 1449 as the convexity for the liabilities. So now let's find out what is happening in part A. So again, for this one, it's um, 500 square it. So it'd be one square. This would be 36. So it'd be 500 times 36 plus 500 divided by present value of 1,000. This has an 18.5 convexity, which is greater than liability here. So this one is kept. Let's check E. It would be a thousand, we'll square the 3.5 years, right? It'll be 12.25 times 1,000 divided by 1,000. It's going to be 12. 0.25. This is less than 14.39, which means that A would be the only one who satisfies the third condition, so it's A.